Hi, it's Tiffany. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's go. This is my coverage of the latest products by Super Impulse at New York Toy Fair 2020. Super Impulse is the company that says size does not matter and that's totally true. Everything works in all of their products that they make that are miniaturized really do work. New to the world's coolest talking keychain line are sound bites from the show The Office and Parks and Rec. World's smallest are miniaturized games and toys that really do work and new to this line is Kerplunk with super tiny marbles. Just look how tiny they are. Nods from the 60s and 70s with the Nerf line featuring vintage styling for the nostalgia collector. Nerf was the first indoor football. They also have coming out the original Nerf ball still in its original packaging, but super duper small. They also have a basketball hoop with a real miniature basketball that you could really shoot hoops in. The world's smallest line is a huge range of top selling games coming out that you could really play. Play a world's smallest game of Pictionary with friends and look how cute that tiny little die is. Magic the Gathering fans are going to enjoy collecting the smaller versions of this iconic card game. The cards are real and they have real stats on them and the artwork is totally real too. Conjure up the world's smallest ghost with the world's smallest Ouija board. From Monopoly, Scrabble, and even Operation, you're going to be able to play your favorite board games in miniaturized form. Last year, the world's smallest action figures were teased with new figures from He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and more. These tiny figures are really articulated and can be posed. Even the packaging is spot on with miniaturized blister packs. I actually think the Invisible Man is the coolest one. You can use these for display, play, or to carry on your keyring to show off how you roll. Wacky packages are bouncing off of their trading card stickers into real life. Inside each individual cereal box, you're going to be able to collect parody styled mini brands that mimic the famed cards in figural form. I love that they are miniature and they share the same artistry as the stickers. These are going to be a hot item, so make sure when you see them, you grab them. You're going to be seeing these on the shelves this summer. Expect July, August. Rubik's has a lot of love from Super Impulse. With the release of their Rubik's Tilt, this is the digital version of the Rubik's Cube. Now you can play Rubik's Revolution. This is a really cool light chasing game. It tests your speed and agility, even your memory. And it also tests sound. Rubik's Cube fans are gonna have plenty to collect. They have a new world's smallest Rubik's Cube coming out that has a really cool metallic finish. Super Impulse is expanding their tilt line and bringing Tetris, Pac-Man, Hot Wheels, and even LOL surprise to life. Tilt pairs the concept of skill and hand coordination together, making the gaming experience very interactive. With these new titles, you're bound to find something you'll enjoy. The Furpinator is a sequence game that plays funny fart and burping sounds. You have to follow the sounds with squeezes and mashes. Kids love these kinds of toys and adults like me do too. <laughs> New additions to the Boardwalk Arcade line will bring out the feels of childhood. I can relive my walks down the Atlantic City Boardwalk with games like Pop Shot, Skee Ball, Whack-A-Mole, and even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball game. Micro Arcade has new titles, and you can play games like Dig Dug, Frogger, Galaxian, and even Oregon Trail. I have the Tetris Micro Arcade and it's super tiny. The screen quality is really beautiful and very, very clear. Plus, it comes with a USB to charge up, so you're never relying on those pesky button cell batteries. The design is also very sleek and great to keep in your purse or your pocket for those times when you just have to get away and play a game, or even just to kill time, which we've been doing a lot of this whole isolation period. They're also changing the packaging, and I really like the way this looks a lot better. 
So Tiny Arcade is giving me major nostalgia feels. Who here remembers Burger Time? I cannot wait to play this in tiny form. They also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tomb Raider, Space Invaders, and even a game called Mappy. I've never heard of the game Mappy, so please educate me in the comments section. I love how they replicate everything from the insert coin slot to the arcade cabinet art. The tiny arcade Frogger would be perfect to reenact that episode of Seinfeld with George crossing the street with Frogger. Tiny Arcade also has tabletop versions that are just like the real thing. I used to see these types of games at billiard or pool halls. Lots of great titles like Pac-Man, Space Invaders, and much more. World's Smallest Minis are coming out with lots of miniaturized versions of our favorite toys. These are blind boxes. You can also buy these versions in regular blister packs, but it's a lot fun to buy the actual like blind box. So you're gonna be able to find lots of toys from Toy Story, like Barrel of Monkeys, Etch-A-Sketch, and even Slinky Dog. You can collect mini Transformers too, Stretchy Gumby, a tie-dyed Magic 8-Ball. Tie-dye is very, very big this year. And I also have to mention that they really do work. Even the Nerf Super Soaker, that really works. I have always wanted one when I was a kid, and now I can with this world's smallest version. World's smallest Hot Wheels monster trucks are seriously just too cute. They really do work and are packaged just like Hot Wheels vehicles that came out a couple of years ago. Hot Wheels is also coming out with pens. These come in a variety of styles, so when you're writing your memoirs, you could do so with the coolest pens ever made. Barbie also has pens in a variety of doll styles to collect. These are a continuation from styles that came out a couple of years ago. The world's smallest Barbie dream house is a big hit this year already. It comes with stickers to decorate the home. The dream house is just like the one from the 70s. It comes with a variety of dolls to choose from. So you can choose from number one Barbie. You could choose from the twist and turn Barbie. There's all different styles. There's also a Barbie version of the world's smallest Polaroid camera keychain. Unfortunately, the Polaroid camera does not work, but it doesn't really take pictures, but you can press the button and the Polaroid picture will be released, but it just goes right back in. So you remember how fun Nickelodeon slime was back in the 90s? I remember this as GAC. So now you can collect the world's smallest version with real slime packaged inside. I also love the world's smallest SpongeBob meme figures with different facial expressions that you could change out. Foam Alive is a tactile toy by Play Visions, and this was a big hit last year and even this year. So it's no surprise that Super Impulse has a real working world's smallest edition. American Ninja Warrior, remember that? It has its own miniature version of the obstacle course. How crazy is that? And it really does work. Also, Care Bears are making an even bigger comeback this summer. So if you see these on the shelves, grab them. They're gonna be hot because I'm telling you, I saw a lot of presents of Care Bears at Toy Fair. Super Impulse booth was so much fun. It's always fun to visit people at Super Impulse. I mean, take a look at my tour guides. Nails, her nails even match the Rubik's Cube. How awesome are her nails? If you want to check out unboxing videos of the Rubik's Tilt and the Rubik's Revolution, you can check out my blog and my other videos on YouTube. You can also check out my TikTok for smaller videos, well, shorter videos of my larger ones. Thank you so much to Super Impulse for the great tour at New York Toy Fair. I had so much fun. Hopefully I'll be unboxing more of these products soon. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting that red subscribe button. Also ring that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I'm on Twitter. Just check my bio. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments your favorite. Have a great day.